So David, you've had a bit more time to reflect on Saturday. What are the sort of main takeaways that you've got from that? Um, first of all, it was a, a, a competitive win, if you like. Um, it was a game of not quite two halves, but not far off. Um, but at the same time, I thought we kept a decent crew team. You know, we've only lost three games all season to, at arm's length for, for the majority of the game. Um, the first half, we were good. Could have been better, um, but we were good. Um, second half, there was subtle changes that needed to happen that didn't quite happen for various reasons. Then when they did happen, helped. Um, there was areas that we should have definitely improved in in the first half. Should have definitely um, hurt them more, and that, that was the same in the second half, but in a different aspects. So. Yes, a good win, um, a pleasing win, but lots of areas for improvement, both with and without the ball. And you must be pleased to have Rosie scoring and Abbo coming back into the team and making an impact. Yeah, look, there were there were both good goals in their own right for different reasons. Um, one would would actually worked on something from a from a set piece, and the other one was actually a, um, a, a sort of a, a, a pattern that we'd actually done some work on as well. So. Yeah, to, to get a couple of goals so so early in this journey from uh, you know from something we worked on was really pleasing because it shows that the receptiveness to the the players and the buy-in um, you know and, the, and their understanding so that that's the the, the real pleasing bit. Does that give you more confidence moving forward that already things are, are paying off? Yeah, look, I, you know, I've just watched a couple of players there, and you know they both mentioned that the fact that the players are buying into what what. We're asking them to do, um, so that's already sort of seven tenths of the battle. Um, the fact that they truly believe that this is good for them, um, it helps when you get results, certainly early on, um, because that um, sort of corroborates, if you like, what you what you're asking them to do. Um, so yeah, we, we're I'm more than happy with where we're at in terms of um, the initial uptake but it's a bit like hot low hanging fruit there's going to this is going to be the most dramatic um, change it's not going to be this rate of change in the next sort of <laughs> six weeks or six months um, I hope it is but I doubt it will be um, because it'll take there'll be bits that take a lot longer to instill because the players are going to have to genuinely learn them as opposed to me just change their mindsets, change their style of play, change the way they play. So, yes, it's it's pleasing, it's it's helpful. Um, we're getting that buy-in. Um, so hopefully that can continue, and the players pick up more and more stuff going forward. And not just on the pitch, sort of how are you finding things? How have you found things in the first couple of weeks? It's been pretty non-stop. Yeah, look, it's been great. You know, the people of the football club and the fans that I, I haven't met anyone yet that hasn't welcomed me um, to the football club not just with their words but with their actions their behaviours and, being, and and showing an, an unbelievable amount of sincerity with it so it's been a fairly smooth um, transition into a new role you know this is the first time I've been doing this as in gone into a new football club and I hope it's as easy as what whenever I end up in years to come down the line I hope it's as easy as what it has been these first two weeks. And looking at Newport now, four places above us, just two points, it's really tight. What, does, what challenge do you expect from them? Well, we, I think we know what you know Graham's sides will be. You know, Graham's a good mate, did my pro license with him. Um, we know what, what questions they're going to pose. They've obviously got a striker up front that this football club particularly knows well in Omar Vogel. So we've got to make sure that we keep him quiet and they're going to run and they're going to chase and they're going to harry, they're going to press and we've got to be good enough to, to make sure that that doesn't affect our play um, and then when we get into them areas like we did on Saturday we've got to make sure we expose their defensive weaknesses um, because that's I suppose that's the name of the game. And just finally how, how's the squad looking, any players coming back or players injured from Saturday? Um, Trying to think if there's any. I don't think there's any fresh injuries from Saturday, no. Um, and we're getting players back, so that's a good thing. It's it's moving in the right direction.